Well, I was enjoying my coffee with Bubby on the floor. <gasps> As a good boy. Here it comes. Is the good boy the best boy? Do you have to go outside? Do you have to go outside? Someone has to go outside. Um, <laughs> no, but we are just spending the morning um, having some coffee and hanging out together while Steven's at work. Yesterday's video, I'm going to put snippets of it throughout this and just kind of merge them together as one because there is some weird upload issue happening and I talked to a couple content creator friends and they are all having the same issue. So last night I tried to upload four to five times and it just kept processing. It's not an issue with my internet connection or the file, it's something on YouTube's end. So I also reached out to them. Good boy, yes you can lay there. I'm so so since putting that rug down, sometimes when he comes down, he was still trying to jump to the carpet. So the fact that he's laying on it today means that he is like used to it, knows what it is. Bubby, see he can't hear. Bubba, Bubba, good boy you lay on the rug. We're noticing that he is hearing is pretty much shot. This dog could hear the mail truck, the UPS man, who was actually just here, rang the doorbell, went off, he can't even hear it. But it makes me really happy that he's now laying on it because I really want him to stop jumping to try to get on the carpet and once in a while his back legs would still land on the hardwood and he would trip or fall. So that this makes me happy. I do want you to know that I painted yesterday. So my favorite color of paint is floor. Well, not my favorite color. I have many favorite colors, but my favorite white is a floral white by Benjamin Moore. It is what I painted my entire staircase and hallway and dining room. It's the, oh, also all of our trim work is floral white by Benjamin Moore. The reason I like it is because it is a warm white without casting yellow. Now, it's different in every light, so you always want to paint it and see what it will look like in your light settings throughout the day. But it is my, my favorite white for our house. And I even think my cabinets were painted floral white by Benjamin Moore. Yes, because my cabinets are the same color as my molding. Um, <clears throat> so, best, best white. I don't like really blue toned or in cool whites. They're just not my thing. I like more warmth, which is actually very on trend right now to have warmer tones. So this is our mud room and I used to have this Acacia Haze by Sherwin-Williams on the walls as well but it felt a little too dark, so I painted all of it. Sherwin, will you can see like the slight difference. This isn't the best lighting, because this light fixture casts more yellow. We'll go into some other spaces so you can see it, but this is floral white, and this is cracked pepper by um, Bear. It's one of my favorite blacks, because it's not quite completely black, but it's not like a charcoal. It's just like a very good tone. In my Peloton room, this used to be the green as well, so they matched, and I ended up going floral white here. And then this is copper corners. Oh, the lighting's bad in here. Maybe if I go on this side. This is copper corners wallpaper. It is pricey wallpaper, so I didn't do the whole space because they, these are all hand-painted designs. I follow her on Instagram, I really love her. And then these are from Target a year or so ago. Now you'll see in my Peloton room that my Peloton is gone. That's because the Peloton tread is getting delivered today. And what's really great is the Peloton tread and my bike will all fit in this space. It's going to be a tight squeeze, but they both have pretty small footprints. If they can't work, Steven and I have an alternate plan, but hopefully this will remain my Peloton room. But I have to wait to get the tread in here to see how I feel, but really excited about this whole space. To see that floral white in a different light, it is also what I painted my staircase with. 
You can see here in the daylight, it comes across as a much pure white. Like this is a pure white against that. I painted that myself. Oh, I have to share those with you. And then also down the hallway is all floral white. You are going to see these really cool light fixtures. These are rechargeable, don't require hard wiring. Lights from Amazon. So you just touch them and you can brighten or dim them and then tap them again. And then you just lift them off and, and then you just lift them off and recharge them. We put them here. I'm so stuffy. We put one over that. And then lastly, we put one over, you can't, harder to see against the Urbane Bronze. We really, really like them. And they just make your house look more expensive, which we really appreciated, without having to hardwire. Because we originally thought about hardwiring picture lights and then realized that we could buy those. And one charge lasts forever because they're LED lights. My hair is a mess but that's okay. I don't wanna get cleaned up yet because I wanna test out my treadmill as soon as it comes. Do you wanna test out the treadmill? So right here is my bike right now. I actually rode it yesterday in my dining room. Look how wild these planters have gotten. They've gotten so full. We also had all of our landscaping re-edged. He's gonna do his business on that plant. Re-edged. Um, weird thing, Bubba's doesn't pee on these, but for some reason, these ornamental grasses only came up on one side this year. It's so weird. The other ones down here didn't do that. I do not understand. All right, he's gonna do his, you gonna do your business? Look how pretty. I love it. Also, our grass is so green down in the knoll, but if you go up here on this side, look, and Steven is desperately trying to save it. It is so stinking brown. Also, these are Steven's sunflowers that he's very proud of. But look, so brown, and then if you go down into our little section down there, it's so green. <laughs> this yard is a lot of yard. I'm going inside. He can't hear me. I'm going, Bubby, Bubby, Bubba, 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 inside. I'm going inside. There you go. Inside. Come on, let's get a cookie. Hi, <sighs> you. Let's get a cookie. All right, friends, it's a little after 10 o'clock and I just checked the treadmill supposed to be delivered between 11 and 2, so just waiting around for it. I went ahead and worked out really quick, just did like a light workout and cleaned myself up, but then I am going to work out again when my, <laughs> the treadmill comes, so I will have to take another shower, but that's fine. I wanted to share something that I've been doing uh, during the day that has been really helpful. So in all transparency, I have started Weight Watchers. Um, I had used it a while ago to success, and then I just got inconsistent with it. I really like the program because nothing is off limits. But one thing I do when I'm alone in the house, instead of reaching out for random snacks, because I am like more of a snacker than like big meals, I have been prepping vegetables in the morning and then leaving them out during the day. So that is what I grab. And I, <laughs> I believe that aesthetics are super important. So like, yes, this is just for me and this is how I do it. If you follow my channel, you know that even when I like prep a meal for myself or just for Steven, like the aesthetics of it is really <laughs> important to me. So in these ramekins, I have some cucumber, carrots, and tomatoes because I'm trying to get through all the tomatoes today. I might actually whip up a caprese salad for lunch. And then I have some dried cranberries and walnuts and some dates. And I will just snack on this. I will leave it out. Steven can snack on it when he gets home. But I'll share my favorite hummus with you. 
So this is the best hummus in the world. I don't know if everyone has access to it. I don't know if they are only distributing in New York because it is made in Ithaca. The Ithaca Buffalo Ranch hummus is the best hummus I have ever, ever had. It is so stinking good. Two tablespoons is two points in my Weight Watchers app. So like, it's just like the perfect combo. So. I'll often throw that out, and Steven doesn't love buffalo sauce, so he's not a big fan of this hummus, so I just dip in and enjoy. So that's what I do to help keep me on track. I find it really helpful to just have this out, so it's what I see. Plus, Bubby likes a carrot, and he loves when I'm cutting them because he gets about four carrots. Don't you? You love a carrot. You love a carrot, don't you? Who's a love a carrot? Who just loves a carrot? Cause he's the best boy. But I'm telling you friends, aesthetics are important. The Peloton tread is delayed. They're saying it'll be here around 345. And Steven is getting a tooth pulled right now. So Bubba's and I are just hanging out. Are we just hanging? You wanna go see if there's any blackberries? Let's go over here. We're really lucky to have a ton of space and what's great is I live in a housing development but we have kept so much of the woods which has been amazing. And all along, look at our poor grass. We're supposed to get a thunderstorm later today but like look at this. It's still very pretty down there, but this is just a... Look at this yard. Did you pee everywhere? These are Steven's sunflowers. You can see them better here. What are you thinking? I mean, it is burnt to a crisp. There's like no salvaging it. But over near the woods, it's so nice and green. But all along this edge, I have blackberries. I've probably picked two to three cups so far, but I have so many that still need to turn. And I wanna wait to like prime time and make like a cobbler with it. When I was a little kid, my grandmother used to take me to go pick wild strawberries that were like this big. And we would go home and she would put them with milk and sugar in a bowl. It might sound really weird, but it was such a memory. And I remember it like being the best thing on earth. So I love having berries here at home that I can pick. But you'll see, oh, a bunch have turned. There's tons of berries. Here's like another. These were all green earlier. Now, I might actually have enough. And all along here are blackberries. All up there are blackberries. I might have to come out and pick some tomorrow. And we'll see if we can whip up a cobbler. It's nice out. We're supposed to get a thunderstorm soon. And it definitely is overcast. <laughs> I've definitely done some damage. However, I did not eat as many tomatoes as I should have. Oh well. I've also drank about four of these today. So feeling good about hydration. Not going to lie, friends, I'm feeling a little frustrated. So the tread was supposed to get delivered between 11 and two. No one ever called me. So finally at 2.30 I called and they said it would be here at 3.45. It's now five o'clock and I contacted them again and they're en route, but wouldn't give me a time. I never <laughs> complain about anything, but like what if someone would have like taken the whole day off work for this delivery? It just is a little frustrating. Steven is home from his tooth removal. He is actually upstairs sleeping. He's like feeling a little groggy. I'm still gonna make dinner and then he can have it tomorrow. He's probably just gonna sleep through the night though. But yeah, I'll show you what I'm cooking before they arrive. So I have a serrano pepper and a 
two poblanos going in some olive oil. I'm about to add some shallot. I also roasted three ears of corn. The recipe called for five. That was way too many. Three is actually too many. I have some chicken here and then also some bacon that I have drying there. You mix this all together, you cook it, and then you top it with some lime juice and some avocado. So I'm really excited about it. I think it'll be delicious. And that's going to be my dinner tonight. All right, I'm gonna hop off here for when they do arrive. I thought the next time I'd be picking up the camera, I'd be sharing with you how excited I am. It doesn't work. It doesn't power on, it doesn't do anything. Um, they also refused to take it with them and told me I had to call Peloton to get it straightened out. Um, called Peloton, it's now after six o'clock. They're gonna try to get a new one out here. Um, this one taken away, I don't know, beyond a little frustrated, especially that they left something that doesn't work sitting here. I told them on the phone it is so out of character for me to feel frustrated in situations like these. Um, she was so kind about it. Um, the Peloton people were actually amazing. What happens is it gets out of their warehouse and sent from like a shipping or delivery service. Um, yeah, not a great experience. Um, dinner though is amazing. So it's really simple to do. Poblano peppers, a jalapeno or serrano pepper if you have it, saute it, throw some corn in. I added some chicken, some crumbled bacon, lime juice, fantastic. But I just need to like end this vlog here today, <laughs> call it a day, and we'll start over tomorrow. So take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, and let's hope this uploads. Bye-bye.